How's it going, everyone? Back with another exciting EverQuest adventure. Oh, snap, it's Monday. <laughs> because of the holidays, I've been busy and haven't had a chance to record. So usually I'd have a video out by now. So I'm like, okay, I got to do it now. And the video I'm going to do is how I would have charmed the rat maze in POM at level 55. So essentially, I would have quadded or rotted in the forest up to 55 and then move down to the rat maze. And as you can see, all of my buffs, I'm not using POTG, I'm using what you would have had at 55. And here is my spell lineup. Uh, I'm using the lowest level root and you'll see why. I think it works very well for for pet breaks and stuff. And um, uh, POM did get a bump in experience, uh, a small one. It was already really good experience. Now it's even better. So I'm going to show you the the tactic that I would have used when I was 55. Because uh, Bear Pits is still going to be good. It did get a Zim nerf. Um, but still, it, it would be good. But I just love it up here. Because you get cards, you get flowers. It's not too contested. Anyways, guys, let's get started. Uh, right now, I am at Peachy. Oh, you know, a side note too. People are really nice up here. So you're more than likely going to be buffed and have C2. Because the community of people who do PO, who do POM are pretty nice people. Yeah, everybody's pretty cool. So anyways, let's get started. First thing we, we need to do is go down in the rat maze and bind. Um, and then I'll show you where I grab a pet. Uh, you, you, you might ask, why not grab guard McStinkles over here? I could be imagining things, but he seems to break charm a lot more, um, even at 60. So, and I, I could be imagining things, though. The, the pet I do use seems to be very m manageable, I think, anyways. Anyways, anyways, go ahead and run forward, and you will drop down into the rat maze. Uh, do you see my map over here? I highly su su suggest you go to the P99 forms and get, go into the technical discussions and get this map. It is extremely handy to have and it will allow you to navigate the, the rat maze very easily. But uh, essentially what I'm going to do is make my way up over in this section up here because this is a safe spot where there are no pathers and uh, yeah so let's make my way over there and then what I do uh, is I kind of do what I do on my enchanter I just start from up here and then I work my way around anyways let's go ahead well, let me zoom into the map a little bit and let's get started and essentially how the map works is I I have a macro slash loc it um, it's like a parser. It reads uh, the log file and then sticks a the little marker up on your map up there. It's freaking awesome. It's extremely handy and allows me to navigate uh, the rat maze very, very easily. So we're gonna make our way up to the um, up to the safe spot, which everything down here isn't KOS, um, but they they will assist. So I like to start from a spot where I know that there's no pathers and then I can pull back to where I have already cleared. Okay, so right here is the safe spot. So first thing you wanna do is get here and then bind. I'm already bound here, but I'm just showing the examples. Okay, next thing we need to do is go and get the pet that I'm gonna use. So we need to get out of the rat maze. So, um, if you see on the map right here how it's got these little arrows, you see how it points down and over, that is leading you the way to get out of the rat maze. So, we are going to follow along the happy path to get out of this freaking awesome place. There we go. Come up around here, and then you're going to come up to this door oh and as you can tell i'm playing with sound i mess because you know i've had a couple comments hey you should play with sound to hear dings and stuff like that so i try to get a good balance of my voice and the game sound so the game sounds aren't like overbearing anyways you come out to this room right here um, in this blood water and jump in the water go 
hopefully that water's not too loud. Swim under and up. Swim over and then over and then up. And you'll pop out to this room. You'll see this little door right here. You, you, you just push through it and you end back up in the main room. And you'll see all the hallways. It's like hallway there, hallway there, and a hallway there. Uh, if you look for this hallway that has this brown door with the jester face on it or whatever, that's how you get back to Peachy. And I also use this as a re 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 reference point. So I go here and then I turn around and I say, okay, right at this door right here is, is where I go get my pet. Essentially, I'm going back to the dining hall. So push through and come over. And then uh, right here is the dining hall. Now, there are the two wizards on the chandelier, so watch, don't just barge in there. I guess you could YOLO through there, <laughs> but I don't feel like getting ice common twice, and that could probably kill you. So uh, what we are going to do is go target, target miser. And that will target miser who's up on that chandelier, and then we can harmony everything in there. Bam. Okay, now, so there are the crazy wizards up there. If you come over to the side, right here is uh, a fake wall that you can go through. And here are, here's where I get a pet. And I like Ramlet. Um, I think they're all the same level, but I just like Ramlet because this freaking name's cool. I, I don't know why. He's just always the one that I use. So go ahead and Harmony. Uh, these two over here, and now we have Ramlet, and we're going to give him a, a small root, a Glamour of Tuner, and get him charmed up. Essentially, what we're going to do is sow him, and uh, let's get Harmony off and get Gate up. We are going to sow him, and then Gate back to our safe spot, and once Root breaks, he's going to freaking just rip down there real quick. Now, after you gate like this, uh, get uh, egress up like ASAP because if charm happens to break while he's coming down, he's going to train you. So if you see charm break, just egress immediately and then freaking gate back down here and run back and get him. But charm should be, or not charm, root should be breaking and it only takes him a couple seconds to get here. So grass and roots is worn off and he should pop up here. Because when they're south, they go freaking fast. All right. So we got Ramlet down here. Now let's get our invis up uh, for breaking uh, charm. The goblin invis ring will, will, will be extremely handy here. But I don't. it's on my chanter, and I don't want to transfer it over. So that's okay. So I might lose a couple freaking mobs. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Get charm broke. Get a grasping roots on him. And, yeah, okay. Uh, something that's very, very important to do is keep your pets ensnared at all times. And you will see why shortly. Uh, go ahead and glamour him again to drop his resist. Charm him up. There we go. So, um, one thing you're probably going to want is some sort of a timer. Like Gina... Uh, if you download the map in parse, um, it has a built-in timer thing. It's not perfect, but it is pretty good. Okay, next thing now is we are going to just start here and start to work our way back. So let's get a Savage Spirit up and get a Shield of Thorns on Ramlet. And I will go ahead and start pulling. Try to get one at a time if you get two at a time. Then you're 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 just gonna have to eat um, the like experience loss, and there should be there's one right there. Okay, pull them way back over here. Hopefully, I didn't pull two. G get back here. There we go. Oh my gosh, he's on me now. No big deal. Okay, uh, now he's. If you have an epic, go ahead and use your epic. If you don't, 
then you're going to want to have a clicky dr Drones of Doom. And uh, uh, if you don't have this little handy piece that I do, you 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 should by now, 55, um, have, uh, what's that? The Elder Spirit Vambraces. So make sure to keep an eye on your roots and make sure it's rooted. And then I'm going to sneak over here like this so I have a little room to run. But as you can see, Hasted and Thorns, he just your pet will just rip through them. And when, when Ramlet gets a little bit lower in health, then we're going to reset him, and I'll show you how to do that. And that's essentially how um, you can just keep going down here, and when your pet gets row, low, you, you, you just reset him. Usually I can get through about th um, three rats per time I have to reset him. Now, since I don't have a Gobby and Viz Ring, and, then, and my pet is hasted, I gotta like be sure to break early because he just rips stuff apart. Get a grass and root. There we go. What have we got here? Four. Whoops. Oh no! It's beating me up. Get over there. There you go. And we will let that root go ahead and knock him down. I got good old Ramlet though. He's gonna. I don't remember if I freaking clicked him. I don't remember. I'm rusty, guys. I'm rusty. <laughs> I'm way rusty. Oh, that the root uh, on Ramlet's gonna break in a minute. That's okay. I, that that that's okay. Uh, you can throw a region up totally too. I should have it up. It's just I forgot. And we'll get a full experience now. If um, you have Gobby and Viz Ring, then get it, then get the, your target down extremely low. Oh, crap. All right, whoops. Let's go ahead and get him glamored again. Let's get a call of Karana up on him again. And then we will start clearing down the pathway. But the, the, this is essentially it, though. And uh, on the next mob, I'll go ahead and reset him. I can go... I can get through like another two, I think. I should put up regen, but I don't want to. And since he's coming, I'm going to go ahead and give him an ensnare. Pull him back. Get him, Ramlet. Yeah, he's still rooted. I'll get him clicked. Again, if you don't have an epic, then just get your drones of doom on him. So when you break charm, it will finish him off. Yeah, guy, you guys hear those fancy sounds? I like it. I like it. it gives me more immersed down here. Let's get another roots up. And like, it's pretty safe because when they're both snared and stuff, you know, it's pretty safe. There's not too much crazy happens. I would say the the most craziest part is probably here when you have a couple pathers going through. But like, as soon as you clear it and you start to work your way down, then all you do is grab a mob, and you pull it up into a spot where you know you've cleared, and you're good to go. But, yeah. Don't kill him! Oh, man! <laughs> I need that Gobby and Viz Ring. Oh, it'd be a lot better. So, uh, if you don't have a Gobby and Viz Ring, then go get one, because if you're a little 55, you can easily go charm him. Or go out and watch my video, charm one, and go clear and get that thing. That's a pain in the butt, but it's totally worth it. So I re-snared, because again, you want to have your your pet uh, uh, char uh, snared at like all times. At all times. And you will see why. Actually, I'll just show you right now. I'll just show you right now. So you see how his health is 41%. There are two ways to do it. Uh... The way I prefer is just to log out. So we will camp real quick, and then what that does is breaks breaks charm and breaks aggro, and since he's snared, he will not path back to his home. He will just stay here, which is how you reset your pet. And the other way to do it is to egress uh, – and then gate back, but that takes mana, so I I I don't like to do it. 
There we go. Go like this. Enter world. Look at all my alts. There, there's my poor shaman. Here's a monk I just made. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to play melee. Okay, so now uh, if you see, um, his health will regen all the way back to full. So that's how that you can reset it. Easy peasy. And I would have, um, usually I would have cleared a third mob. God, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm rusty, guys, down here. I'm, like, way rusty. So then as he's regening, I'm regening mana. I got hit, like, way too much. But your, your hasted pet, if you let him hit you a bunch, he's just going to rock you. So that's why it's extremely important to have grasping roots, uh, fast casting, to freaking root him and get out of the way. Because they will rock you. Ramlet is back up. So we're going to go ahead and root him. Give him a glamour, and then refresh and snare, and call a chrono. Boom. Oh, okay. There should be a gnome around here. The gnomes are green, and they're not that big of a deal, but it, if they sneak up behind you, they will totally backstab you. And I'm not going to dot on you. It's not even worth it. I'll just let freaking Ramlet just eat him. But this is kind of it, guys. It's super easy. Like, just cruise along this path and pull stuff back to where you know has been cleared. I think there's a guy over here, too. Heck yeah. Come here. Get over here. So now that I've cleared both the pathers, then I know I can pull back here because there, there is nothing there. Bam. Oh, you know what? I got to get my savage spirit up. Got to have Ramlet freaking rocking some stuff. Shield of Thorns. Because if you don't haste and thorns your pet, then... He's not going to do that great. And let's go ahead and get an epic click on him. I'll throw my drones of dune on him. Like that. I don't even know if it's worth casting the epic and stuff. Because your pet just rocks these guys. Like drones of dune to finish them off. Absolutely. But like. That's a couple ticks that I could save. On mana. <clears throat> So I'll try to break a little bit earlier now. Because, man, that pet just kicks the crap out of him. Perfect. Look at that. Bam. And I didn't get hit that time. So you can see, guys, I'm rusty. If you were to come down here and do this a bunch, then you would get it all refined down. Uh, I just I came here ye yesterday a little bit. And, like, I um, I practiced a little bit with ways and methods and I f uh oh let me get Ramlet freaking all grasping rooted back up I'm gonna get him resnared and you, 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 well, I'm doing pretty good on mana um how many have I killed three so that's not too bad and we will work our way back a little bit farther okay let's go ahead and get him uh, I, I resnared and retashed so let's go ahead and get him charmed back up Give me a card. I want some freaking night cards. And I... So now I'm working my way back down. So I killed all the pathers, so I know if I pull back here, there are no pathers. I'm so, so I'm going to go to this guy right here. I will pull the Rat Fink back. Because Ramble is snared and he's freaking slow. I'll get it in some med ticks. My grasping roots has worn off. I 
I'll check to see if Thorns is still active. Where did Ramlet go? There he is. Good. Okay, so I'll go ahead and refresh haste. Because I think Thorns and haste uh, la last about the same amount of time. Perfect. Get him. Let's get this. Let's get him clicked. Again, you don't have to use Epic if you don't want to, but definitely have some uh, Elder Spiritus Van Braces to, so, so you, you, you don't got to waste mana on dots to kill it. Bam. So I think old Ramlet can probably handle one more mob before I have to reset them. And then I'll go ahead, I'll do one more mob, I'll reset them, and that's probably going to be it, guys, because... It's as boring as this. It's extreme. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bam. There we go. There we go. So he should be just about dead. Yeah, I would like the Goblin Kazugi ring because then I can get him down to, you know, freaking 3% or whatever and break. Because these guys have like 8,000 hit points. So I'm going to go like this, get him retashed. And go ahead and get a resnare on them. Again, always, always have ensnare. Uh, I would refresh it every time. It lasts a long time, so. Bam. One more, one more. Bam. Look at that. 100%. Ding 61. Woo! All right. Oh, what, what, what was that? Okay, let's get these. Okay, Ramlet, come on. Let's get you through one more. Uh, there should be one of the a pather that runs right up here, and I want to be. Sh I know. I think it does. There's one here, and be careful, guys, if you're running around like this um, with Ramlet freaking way back there, because he goes through walls. So you can totally like if it breaks charm, he'll just run through walls and just pull a bunch of crap on you. But there should be. There he is. Let's get a little bit closer. Like that. Oops. Pull him back here. Get him. Get him, Ramlet. Alright, so Thorns is still going, so uh, yeah, he's still hasted. I don't have to refresh haste. Yeah. Simple as this, guys. This is exactly how I would have done it. Now, obviously, if I spent, you know, a bunch of levels, I would refine things here and there. But this is extremely easy, and it's pretty safe. Um, at 55, you probably will get a few more breaks and stuff, but it shouldn't be too bad. And I suggest that when, when you first start, um, start a timer on your first kill so then as soon as as soon as your timer goes and he pops back up then you just war, war, work your way back and start over come on ramble it i think haste wore off oh no it's still going uh oh i don't pay attention don't kill him perfect see ramble still got 16 this guy will be dying soon uh, Ramlet has 10 minutes left on Snare, so I will have enough time to log out and log back in plenty of time. And again, since he is snared, he will not path back home. What are you doing? Get back over there. Look at this beady. Ah! Little beady red eyes. But, uh... Yesterday, guys, I haven't spent a lot of time down here learning this. Like, I was at 90% experience, so I've gotten a lot of experience just screwing around down here and practicing. Boom! Now we're going to go ahead and camp, and we're going to let Ramlet uh, reset, regen some mana, and rinse and repeat, guys. And essentially, like I said, uh, what's my video at? I'm at 24 minutes. Perfect. Essentially, like I said, you start up here and you work your way down right here. Um, 
and here's a dead end. So, so I just work my way down. I set my timer. Well, as soon as my timer goes off, I just run back and start over. Um, this whole section in here, you you can do over and over and over again. There we go. Enter world, reset Ramlet. Perfect. Super easy. Very safe. Um, yeah, I really like it. And if I would have known, I probably would have done this. And now, especially since the 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 Zim nerf and stuff, I definitely would come here because there's not a lot of competition. I rarely see anybody down here, and it's super easy. Super super easy. And you might even get it better down than, than what I have. Because like I said, I just came down here to screw around. Okay, how would I have done it at 55? I'm using all the same spells, guys. You're like, you're like well, he's level 60. He has all this awesome uber gear. I don't. I still have crappy. Um, I did get a couple upgrades, like the woven grass. And then I got the woven grass fan braces. But... Like, a lot of my stuff is still just crap. <laughs> it is. It's stuff that I've been using since level 1 or whatever. See? Look at this. Still the same. Oh, check out my new cloak. Or not my new. Look at that. Yeah. See? This is crap gear, guys. Still in crap gear. So, it's not like I'm super freaking geared out to where like, oh yeah, it would be easy. No. Nope. You don't need awesome gear to do all the stuff that I've done. You, you don't need awesome gear. But anyways, guys... I think that's going to do it. Um, there's nothing fancy tricks except for you log in and log out to reset Ramlet. But start up here, work your way back, pull mobs back to where you know it is cleared. And there's nothing KOS down here. Uh, the only thing that they will do is assist. If you need to med, ju just make sure that your ensnare is on Ramlet. Refresh. All that good stuff. Easy peasy. Great. Wonderful experience. But anyways, guys. That is going to do it for me. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you're having a good week. Hope you're having a good day. Hope your year has been good so far. And like I always say, guys, please be careful out there. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos, there will be more coming. And uh, I think that is it. Okay, guys. That's it for me. Peace.